Hello, my name is Alva Subrihatin And my name is Rizka Cynthia Today, our group will present an article by Marian Selzemurzia from the University of California, USA Entitled, The Rule of Communicative Competence in Language Teaching For the first part is the content of this PowerPoint The verse is introduction Second is proposed revision of the 1995 models. For next, you can read it on the following screen. First is introduction. In this paper, presented a revised and updated model of communicative competence which synthesizes and elaborates on writer's previous work and which further explores the role that its model of communicative competence could play in language teaching. The terms communicative competence has been in circulation for about 40 years and has been used extensively in justifications and explication of communicative language teaching. The key source for discussions of communicative competence and related applications in applied linguistic and language pedagogy. Kanale and Swine, 1980 say that communicative competence is a term coined by the anthropological linguist Delheims. Next, in the mid 9th Salisbury proposed that actional competence should also be part of communicative competence. This, authors made two change in terminology from the Canale Swine model. First, the sociolinguistic competence be modified to sociocultural competence. It means that the cultural background knowledge needed to interpret and use a language effectively. And second, the grammatical competence be relabeled as linguistic competence to explicit it. Include the sound system and lection as well as grammar, morphology, and syntax. Next, you can see the picture. This is 1995 model is a pyramid enclosing or circle surrounded by another circle. The circle inside the pyramid is discourse competence, the core or central competence. The three point of the triangle are the top down sociocultural competence and the bottom up linguistic competence and actional competence. The arrows indicate that the various components are constantly irritating with each other and the discourse component. The circle surrounding the pyramid is strategic competence and available inventory of communicative, cognitive, and metacognitive strategies that allows a skilled interlocutor to negotiate meanings, resolve ambiguities, and to compensate for disinfinance and any of the other conventions. Next, a proposed revision of the 1995 models. You can see this is revised schematic representation of communicative competence to describe communicative competence for language teachers. Next, sociocultural competence. Sociocultural competence refers to the speaker's pragmatic knowledge, how to express message appropriately within the overall social and cultural content of communication. This is includes knowledge of language variation with reference to sociocultural norms of the target language. Several sociocultural variables, three of which are most crucial in terms of the current model. First, social contextual factor, means that the participants' age, gender, status, social distance, and their relation to each other repower and affect. Second, stylist appropriateness, means that politeness strategies, a sense of generous and registers. And then cultural factors, means that background knowledge of the target language group, major dialect or religious difference, and cross-cultural awareness. The above competencies can be acquired in a part through some knowledge of the life and traditions as well as knowledge of the history and literature of the target language community. I'm sorry. Next, we have discourse competence. There are several sub-areas of discourse competence. 
four of which are most important with regard to the current model. First is cohesion, means the convention regarding use of reference, substitution, or ellipsis, conjunction, and lexical chains. And second is dexious, means the situational surrounding achieve true use of personal pronouns, special temporal terms, and textual reverence. And then coherence means the expressing purpose, managing old and new information, maintaining temporal continuity, and other organizational schemata through conventionally recognized means. And then generic structure means the formal schemata that allows the user to identify an oral discourse segment as a conversation, narrative, interview, service encounter, report, lecture, sermon, and etc. Next, there is linguistic competence. Linguistic competence includes four types of knowledge. First, phonological includes both segmentals and supersegmentals. Second, lexical means that knowledge of both content words and function words. Third is morphological part of speech, grammatical infection, productive derivational process. And then syntactic means that press structure, word order, basic sentence type, modification, coordination, subordination, and embedding. Next, that is formulae competence. Formulae competence is the counterbalance to linguistic competence. Linguistic competence entail the resource chief, open-ended systems, list above. Formulae competence refers to those fixed and prefabricated chunks of language that speakers use heavily in everyday interaction. Then, interactional competence. Interactional competence is extremely important. The typical performance of speech X and speech X sets can differ in important ways from language to language. For example, for second and for agent language, learners to understand how to manage social interactions, how to complain, how to apologize, and so forth. If they are going to achieve communicative competence in the target language, however, such actional competence must mess with the more general rules of conversational competence related to the turn-taking system in the target language. For the next material, will be explained by my partner, Rizka Cynthia. Time and place is yours. Thank you, Alifa. Okay, guys, we have a strategic competence. There are most important purposes of learning strategies to force cognitive. These are strategies making use of logic and analyze to help oneself learn a new language through outlining, summarizing, note-taking, organizing, and reviewing material. The second metacognitive, this strategies involve planning one's learning by making time for homework or for preparation and in engaging in self-evaluation of one's success on a given task or on one's overall progress. And the third, memory related. These are strategies that help learners recall or retrieve words through the use of acronyms, images, uh, sounds, or other clues. And the important of culture, general knowledge of the literature and other arts that are integral to the target culture should be part of language interactions as should basic knowledge of the history and geography associated with the target language community. Uh, the social uh, structure of the culture should also be covered, especially if the target culture differs in important ways from the learner's culture. And the importance of discourse and context, if the goal of language instruction is communicative competence, language instruction must be integrated with culture and cross-culture instruction. A general knowledge of the literature and other arts that are integral to the target culture should be part of language instruction as should basic knowledge of the history and geography associated with the target language community. So, of course, the social context that are simulated in learning activities 
must also be realistic and the learning activities should include authentic talk and the need to balance language as system and language as formula the pedagogical challenge is to maintain a balance mastering only vocabulary and stock phrases for speech acts without appropriate knowledge of uh, and focus on grammar and pronunciation will result in fluent but inaccurate and therefore limited oral competence. Mastering only grammar and phonology results in linguistically accurate but socially dysfunctional oral communication. Thus, the systematic, formulaic, and interactional aspects of language must all be addressed in effective language instruction. The need to focus on dynamic aspects of interaction such videotapes or film clips can be used in many ways to sensitize learners to target language use watch the segment without sound to observe describe and imitate nonverbal behaviors listen to the segment to focus on the language rhythm intonation pitch timing and volume as well as grammar and vocabulary uh, watch and listen to the intake a segment several times in order to role play the segment or to perform a similar interaction. Uh, and uh, sample listen or like general topic raising awareness of cross cultural problems with gestures, grammatical focus, use of should or shouldn't in giving and getting advice, uh, lexical focus, any new vocabulary in the recorded discourse or text. This depends on the learners, but likely candidates here is opts in. Uh, activities, comprehension check, students match uh, meanings of the gesture with countries or region. And presentation, replay tape and practice any new vocabulary review how to ask for and give advice using should or shouldn't in questions and answers and uh, role play one students work in in pairs and role play two students work in small groups to prepare a conflict role play and discussion teacher leads class a discussion of other gestures that can differ from culture to culture and last uh, conclusion and the content of a language course with communicative competence as its objective should be drawn from linguistic uh, cultural anthropology sociolinguistic and other relevant areas of the social scenes and humanities some example of tasks and activities designed to encourage interaction are eliciting information or opinion via a telephone call or an email message in the target language uh, getting information by interviewing someone or surveying a group of people in the target language summarizing the gist of a discourse segment with a partner uh, role-playing speech Except perhaps developing a script for acting out the situation in class, developing writing, developing or writing an advertisement to sell a given product in the target language, and writing and publishing a class newsletter on cultural differences between the target language community and the first language community. Uh, and the proposed model obviously has its limitations the model should be dynamic but in its present form it looks static i asked the reader to imagine to imagine an organic version of the model where where each component can expand or on contract depending on the pedagogical objectives and the needs of the learner It's been a long day without you, my friend And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again We've come a long way 
Without you, my friend, and I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. We've come a long way from where we began. Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. When I see you again, come along with me and don't. Es que ya se pondrá tú mirándote Tengo que bailar contigo hoy Vi que tú me alata y estaba llamándome Muéstrame el camino que yo voy Tú, tú eres el imán y yo soy yo meta Me voy acercando y voy armando el plan Solo que me salgo si así le da un sol
Shampoo.